Hi, so today I am doing a video that I have wanted to do for such a long time. I was just really excited about talking about nautical fiction um, on this channel, but I never really got around to it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I am going to be making this pirate ship right here. And I've wanted to do this for quite a while because I have been wanting some new decorations for this room of mine. And so I'm going to be doing that today in watercolor. So I do not watercolor. <laughs> let's let's see how this turns out because I, I don't do it very often. And while I was doing that, I wanted to just kind of talk to you about how um, how great nautical fiction is really and just how much I love it and I will also be giving you some recommendations um, of nautical fiction and I will also be talking about different nautical fiction books on my TBR. By the way, I will be saying the term nautical fiction countless times in this video so don't bother counting, okay? I'm going to be saying it a lot. All right, what is first on here? Okay, so this this is actually a very good nautical fiction book. Um, it is called The True Confessions of Charlotte Doyle. It is by Avi. And there's like a little like section in the back with different um, facts and like things like this where you can, they teach you how to draw your own ship. And so yeah, it looks, fairly simple, <laughs> but let's see how this goes. <laughs> I'm definitely more of a writer than an artist, okay. Also, I'm going to be looking down a lot in this video because, um, yeah, sorry about that, but it must be done. This looks like a narwhal. I think this is good. It's going better than I thought it was going to go, <laughs> at least for now. You never know what happens uh, in like five minutes. So the first thing that I wanted to kind of talk about was why do I like nautical fiction so much? Because I feel like if I don't tell you, I think you'll just assume that I like it for no reason. I do have a very good reason. I think that a lot of it is nostalgia. My dad read to me this book, um, Treasure Island, actually. He read it to me when I was around seven and he made it very exciting for me, and um, I think that's what made me really fall in love with nautical fiction, but also just books in general. Another reason is I really like just the kind of stories that come out of nautical fiction. It's kind of hard to write a bad nautical fiction story. They're always good to me at least, and I feel like they're just kind of hard to mess up. Um, they're always, the characters are always so interesting and I think the setting is just really great for a story. And there are also some very great nautical fiction books out there already that you can take so much inspiration from. So I've done this next step. I did all the masts. Here we go. That's another thing. <laughs> the only thing with me and nautical fiction is I have no idea like what goes into every ship. I know that they're all different. You know, what gets really interesting is when you write your own book <laughs> and you have a ship in there somewhere and you have to use all of these words that you don't know exist before you write the book. I'm kind of like slowly learning all this stuff. And especially as I read more, I haven't read very many nautical fiction books. I just have loved all of the ones that I have read. But I am going to recommend to you right now because they are very good. So the first one that I've ever read is Treasure Island. It is a fantastic story. If you haven't read it yet, you definitely should. Um, it's really exciting and just full of suspense and it's really great. The The main character um, was actually the inspiration for my, like my own main character in the book that I just wrote. So I, <laughs> Let's see, I make this line here, yes. It, it's very easy, but very confusing at the same time. The next book that I wanted to recommend was The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, which is another one that I've read. Um, 
it's also one that is very much a part of my earlier childhood and it is part of the Chronicles of Narnia so if you haven't read that one you definitely should. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is definitely not where you'd stop with the Chronicles of Narnia because they are all very very good. I am so confused by the lines on here. And then another one that I read was nonfiction, and it's called The Widda, A Pirate Ship Feared, Wrecked, and Found. This was honestly one of the best nonfiction books I've ever read. So if you're looking for nonfiction, this is a great one. I think it's actually won an award or been nominated or something. So yeah, it's very good. Okay, I'm almost done with the sales. I don't know how this is going to end up, honestly. It might, it might look like a ship. I feel like it will if you don't look at it too closely. Okay, I finished sketching it out. This is the end result. I think because I'm doing watercolor, it's not that big of a deal if I messed up slightly because I did mess up slightly. It is time for the watercoloring. I'm kind of scared. Hopefully there are no artists watching me because they might cringe at what I'm about to do. <laughs> so apart from books that I've read, I know there are a ton of nautical fiction books that I have not read and I am very excited to read them. I have found quite a few. If you have any that I do not mention in this video, can you please put them in the comments um, if you've read any that you like um, because I will love any recommendations I can get. The ones that are currently on my TBR, the first one is Kidnapped by Robert Louis Stevenson. I wanted to do gray for a lot of this so I think I'll just use like a tiny, tiny bit of black because I don't have a gray. I only have like a few colors. So yeah, just going to do the tiniest bit of black. Okay, that was not nearly enough black. Okay. <laughs> this looks pretty good, actually. Looks kind of cool. So yeah. Okay, so there's Kidnapped and then there's um, The Glass Sentence by S.E. Grove, which looks very good. I, I don't remember what any of these were about. Wow, that doesn't look half bad. I'm actually surprised. Race to the Bottom of the Sea by Lin Lindsay Eager, I think it is. That one, I remember, looked really, really good. And then there was, oh, I'm so excited about this one, The Wanderer by Sharon Creech. I think that's how you say your name. I've heard she is a great author, so I'm very, very excited um, to read that one. It sounds really good. So for the bottom of the boat, like the actual boat, like I think it's called the hull, um, I'm going to do like a very light brown. And I'll use the same technique as I did for the sails. That did nothing. <laughs> so then the very last book, that I have on my TBR that is nautical fiction is Stowaway by um, Karen Hesse. Hesse, I think. I'm going to try something that has never been attempted before. I'm going to do little paint splatters. Okay. How do you do it though? Um, I have no idea. Just like, oh, <gasps> that looks so cool. Oh my gosh. That looks amazing. This is incredibly fun. Okay, I don't want to overdo it, but like, this <laughs> that was so much fun. Oh my gosh, I love that. That looks so cool. So that was all I really had to say uh, in this video. It's kind of, I don't know, kind of address my obsession <laughs> with uh, nautical fiction because I am definitely obsessed with it. I think that you don't really need to know too much about something, uh, at least um, like fiction-wise, to be a fan of it. Like you don't need to know a ton about Harry Potter to be into Harry Potter. You don't need to know everything there is to know about like Lord of the Rings. 
if you want to be very into Lord of the Rings. And I think that with nautical fiction, that's kind of where I'm at. I don't really know too much about it, but I'm very excited to learn more about it and get more into it. And I do love everything that I have, you know, been exposed to so far. And this is going to ruin my table. But anyway, I did have a lot of fun making this. I've wanted to do this for like ever, so I'm glad that I am finally getting around to it. Um, yeah, it was very fun. This was an incredibly relaxing video. I hope I don't talk for too long. Um, I probably have. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.